Hi, my name is Alice Abrams. I live in Lexington, Massachusetts, and I'm a potter and a sculptor, which I've been doing for over 40 years. Uh, I'm very honored, grateful, that the Workhouse Arts is uh, having this International 2021 show and that they've decided to include my piece in the show. My piece is called The Lady with the Long Neck. I'll lift her up so you can see how long her neck is. I have her on a banding wheel right now so that I can turn her around for you. I created her a year ago in my home studio when um, I was kind of isolated because of, of COVID. I tend to use a group studio, but luckily I do have uh, what I need at home if I can't get into the studio. And indeed, I was lucky to have this during that time of isolation. Um, I started making figure sculpture about five years ago, and every once in a while I get an urge to make a head. And for some reason, maybe I was feeling the isolation of the times, I just wanted to make somebody. So I just started to build, and I started to build from the neck up, and I gave her a very, very long neck. Um, it's kind of a technical device, but I, I liked it aesthetically, so I kept it. Um, she's kind of a woman with no race or identity. Um, she doesn't look like me, and as a sculptor, I feel very proud that I didn't fall into that cliche of, uh, or whatever trope of trying to, of always making yourself when you end up making people. Um, I purposefully, and I think I was influenced by the times, it was during last summer when George Floyd had been murdered and the protests were very violent and strong and the Black Lives Matter movement was uh, in everyday news all the time. Um, and it influenced me, obviously, because I decided to give cornrows for her hair, which is kind of a kind of classic uh, hairdo for African-American women. Um, I think they look great. And they were also really fun to do. I tried to actually braid hair, braid clay in the beginning, but quickly realized you can't do that easily. Um, nor effectively for what I was trying to get at. So I had a lot of fun trying to figure out mm, what's gonna say hair, what's gonna say cornrows without actually braiding any pieces, long strands of clay. Um, I glazed her with a glaze that actually runs turquoise when it's thick, uh, kind of a greeny turquoise. And then when it's thinner, it's uh, kind of a brown tan color. I did not want her to have a particular race that she belonged to. I wanted a, a kind of an every woman woman, kind of a sign of trying, trying for unity, trying for unity in our times, trying for unity within our nation. Um, so I guess it's true that artists do reflect back on what their world is up to. Um, even though I was squirreled away in a, in a Vermont little shed, um, during June of 2020. Um, she was fired in a high fire soda kiln, which means that, um, well, technically it means that there was some soda ash involved in the firing, which adds that shiny glaze to her. Um, and that it's a sheen that you don't get in the usual reduction kiln or in an oxidation kiln. Um, and it's a wonderful process, a very time consuming process but ultimately I think it makes work even that more special. Um, if you want to know more about the piece, um, you probably should go into the workhouse, uh, dot, uh, workhouse org, workhouse arts org uh, website, um, as well as seeing all the other pieces there. And if you want to know more about me, um, you can go to my website, which is aliceabrams.com. Um, thank you for listening to this little uh, explanation, and I hope you have a good time enjoying the show, and I wish I had hair long enough that I could, and thick enough that I could do that with. <laughs>